Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Might and Magic games I could find for Java. Might and Magic is a game developed by Gameloft Beijing in 2004. You play as Ewan, whose quest results in encounters with an elf archer, a captain of mercenaries and other friends and foes, the game being an action adventure. The kidnappers will try to set traps in this hostile environment, you can see from the video what the game is about. You get combat sections, puzzles and boss battles, but you can see from the video how the game is. In gameplay, I don't have to insist. The controls work like a charm, and overall it's a really good Java game like most game love games are. Might and Magic Zero isn't developed by Gameloft anymore. But in Might and Magic Zero, you don't play with a fixed character anymore, you don't play with Evan. This time you choose your character from three alternatives. Warrior, Magician or Archer. The three types feel distinct from each other in combat. And it's nice that during your playthrough, you get different weapons. Though the different weapons don't feel that distinct. But hey, you get different weapons. In Rust, on the gameplay department, the video tells you how the game unfolds, I don't have to insist on this one, I mean just look at the video, it's kind of self-explanatory, at least to me it, it seems self-explanatory. Might and Magic 2 is the sequel to the first game reviewed in this video, and this story is a prequel. It's made by Gameloft Beijing and released in 2007, and in this game, you don't play as a fixed character, nor a chosen character. The story jumps from one character to the other, and you play one section of the story with the given character till the story is told from someone else's perspective, so you switch characters constantly. Might and Magic 3 tries to imitate the PC game with the same name but it doesn't do the job. The game is way too simplified to give even the slightest glimpse of the PC version. Sure, you get many maps and you get a somewhat similar battle system. You capture castles and find artifacts to boost your character, but the graphics and the controls and the overly simplified gameplay makes this game a dull experience. It doesn't even remotely remind you of the awesome PC game Might and Magic 3 is. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.